Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode one of Chaos Pony, the official po- there. the official podcast of the Order <laughs> of the Pony. I'm Jason Steele. I'm Robert Benfer. And I'm Chris Alex. We should give some backstory on this. Uh, we were asked by the Order to be the public outreach of the Order. This is the first time they've been public in the past 3,000 years. It's a really long time. And a long uh, time. Yes, as as for why they chose us, I'm not sure. We don't really we're not high enough in the order to know anything about the order, and so this podcast will largely be about our own lives. Yeah, I don't I I didn't pay attention at the meetings, at the order meetings. Robert slept through most of them. <laughs> no, I'm on my iPhone most of the time. I'm playing Angry Birds. Yeah, that's 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 the same for me. I'm addicted. Well, I didn't think I would ever I didn't think they were going to choose us. For this, I no, I, I, I don't know, but you know, the will of the pony is. Uh, I never really took it that seriously. Is unreliable. Yeah, that's that's another reason why it's strange that we got picked because we are we are the least. Although maybe, maybe that maybe there's some sort of meaning in all of this, Robert. Yeah, did you guys we did you guys take the blood oath? Because I never did that. Was that a requirement? The blood oath. Yeah, I I don't know. I didn't. I never did that. They have like eighteen oaths. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I didn't do any of them. That's like a Friday night for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, I'm in like I'm in like ten cults. <laughs> I don't pay. I don't keep up with any of them. I'm a horrible cult, cult follow, follower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, this is the show. The topic of this week is uh, Spanish films of 1971. My favorite. Yeah, so that, was, that was a good year. That was a good year. There was a total of four, according to Wikipedia. Uh, I can't. Uh, the Tomb of Blind Dead. That's one. Well, that that's the only one that's in English. The <laughs> that's why it's the only one I can read. Uh, there's <laughs> Can Quiones para oh, Disputas de una Gora? Maybe I don't know. Oh, I like that. The, there's Goya. I the recognize conch, Goya. I can't read Spanish. Concho, con, 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 uh, he's I know it was a band. It was it's a band documentary. Yeah, it's not so banned they, anymore though. So so it was banned. So they so they made four that year, and one of them was banned. Yeah. So really, there was only three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was a bad year for Spanish films. <laughs> it was a it was a terrible year for Spanish films. 1971. That was not not very glamorous. It was a hard year. It's a hard year for everyone, you know. Yeah. So. Spanish films. Wonderful. Yes. So for anyone who doesn't know us, we should probably introduce ourselves. That's a good idea. Yes, I am I am Jason. I make uh videos on the internet. You've made two videos. Uh <laughs> I've made two, uh, yes. Charlie the Unicorn one and Charlie the <laughs> Unicorn two. Yes, those are the those are the videos that I have done, the only ones. Uh and I uh I make I'm Robert Benfer. I'm or you may know me most people know me as Knox. And I make clay animations. I specialize in clay animations, and I'm still not that good at it. <laughs> and, uh, well, my name is Chris Alex, and I uh, I do the voice of Carl, and that's all I'm known for. <laughs> that's yes. it. Chris Chris does uh, voices and acting in a, in a variety of, uh, of film cow movies. Yeah, yeah. dude. One of the uh, one of the the handful of people that uh, that do that. I did a voice in one of J- uh, Jason's uh, videos. I was uh, York. <laughs> York. I was. Yeah. Uh... Oh, actually, we just shot we shot a, a video when I was at your house last week. Yes. Oh yes. You, the yes. funny the funny thing about your character is that you kept mispronouncing your own name. So. <laughs> <laughs> York. <laughs> it wasn't York. You kept calling yourself York, but it's Yurik. York. <laughs> So the scene doesn't even work because, like, you're saying your name one way and the cloak is saying it a totally different way. <laughs> <laughs> My name is so, York. So, your name is York. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. It's a big deal when it comes to uh, voicing Robert. It is a big deal. You would have been. I never mispronounce anything. You would I have, can't. You would I have can't never read. You would have never made it in uh, Spain in 1971. No, I no. would not. No, no, you would, would have been not. part of the, the band. I would have been, uh, would have been beheaded. That's what they do over there, right? <laughs> yeah, in the seventies, they were beheading people in Spain. <laughs> you know, I was I was looking at I was looking at that list. One of them was a documentary. One of them was a drama. One of them was a horror. And then and then it looks like the last one, Goya, some sort of history on some sort of food. 
Like what? What kind of? There's not even a comedy. It's Spain in 1971. We don't know what was going there on was, there. There was no comedy in Spain. There was no I'm laughter. Gonna, there was I'm only gonna, beheading. <laughs> only beheading, yes. That I, was, think, I think I'm going to put one of these on my Netflix if it's available. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you can find Españolas <laughs> in Paris on your Netflix. <laughs> I'll write a letter of complaint if they don't have it. That one's not even about uh, Spain. It's about Paris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Spanish Ooh. Spanish films of 1971. Crazy. Chaos Pony. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a revolutionary show, I can tell already. I can tell. It is. This is this is the revolution right here. This is now this this is an, We this are uh, this we are is, the best and brightest of the uh, odor of the pony. This is an important year for all of us. It is. I'm. I'm we, planning. We've been chosen. We we have been chosen. We we got the podcast going. I'm. Uh, I'm planning on starting my first live action feature film this year. Chris is is quitting his job. Robert's getting a yes. sex change. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's is that uh, true. Is that true, Robert? He's becoming a male. I thought, I, I thought he was going to end it in a joke. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. This is, this is a big also, year. Yeah. A sex change. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. <laughs> yep, that's the punchline. Yes. So picking on old Robert. <laughs> that's, that's is that, is that how these things work? Just pick on Robert. Uh, that is that is how these work. Just pick on me, the human punching bag. I'm uh, glad. Just enough. throw your words at my head. Just keep throwing your words at my head. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm not a human being. I'm just the word punching bag. <laughs> that's that's what Robert is. Peeing words out and making me drink it out of a cup. Yes, <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. Your 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 films have uh, have taken a, a dramatic turn, Robert. <laughs> uh, they've taken, for the better. They've taken quite the turn. <laughs> for the better. <laughs> for the something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's all that clay animation. I think I finally lost my mind. I think that's a good. Uh... I think I'm self destructing. <laughs> oh yeah, all, all of you. Uh, all of you should uh, go to my YouTube channel. Just go to, just <laughs> go to YouTube and, and type in Robert Benfer or Knox or and Claymation, and a bunch of my stuff will come up. You should buy all of my stuff. <laughs> you whoring yourself out, Robert? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta leave that for the end of the show. Oh yeah. You know we're gonna have links. <laughs> we're gonna have links on the page to your stuff. Links? Ooh, fancy. You don't need to, to to advertise it in every episode. The Fractoplots is a feature-length <laughs> sock puppet film starring Robert Binfer, Jason Steele, Chris, Paul, Mary. I don't know why I put him. Uh, uh, Dom Fer, <laughs> Jim Ether. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm glad we got a podcast going because there's a lot that's happened. That uh, we have that a lot I, to talk that, about. Obviously, that I've, that I've wanted to talk about. There's there's a lot. I bought pants from a woman named Green Bean. See, if, if we had a podcast at the time, I could have talked about that. Uh-huh. I didn't know about this, Jason. What the, I didn't Green know about Bean? that. There was a woman named Green Bean. Her, uh, her nickname is Lima Bean, which is a, a weird nickname to have if your name is Green Bean. It's like I, I don't think you would need a nickname at that point and why, why they would just pick a, a different bean. Yeah, you're green. Where, where are you shopping at that there's somebody named Green Bean? I just I bought pants from a woman named Green Bean. I don't, I don't want to get any, uh, any more detail. That sounds like a song. I bought pants from a woman named Green Bean. <laughs> there it is, the number one hit single right there. That was my singing. That was my singing voice, by the way. That'll be that'll be in Robert's next song. It'll just. Be, I also I also have that, two uh, albums. <laughs> you have three albums. Uh no, well two yes. albums, and then I made like a hardcover thing that didn't sell that well because people just want to buy my stuff on iTunes. People don't want like a whole album of my stuff. I'm not that good. You, you, I'm, you I'm have... not that good at music. You have football, tiny football. instruments, and expensive suit. Yeah, <laughs> tiny instruments is the uh, hard one. I well, I mostly just made that for me because uh, I wanted a I wanted a CD, you know, a hard a, a thing that I can hold in my hand. I'm always uh, I'm always just amazed at the similarity between your music and Wesley Willis. <laughs> <laughs> you take the title and you yell it over and over again with uh, <laughs> with with looping electronics. It's great. It's a living. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> unlike unlike making films in Spain in 1971, that was not a living. There was, no, there was no work. <laughs> Do you think they had like the same actors? Maybe maybe it's like some they sort probably, of union deal. It's probably the same group. <laughs> yeah, it's the same group of people. <laughs> That's what same, that was. The yeah. same group of assholes. Yeah. Now my music is pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not that good. I hope it's funny though. So I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at I, I clicked on Tombs of the Blind Dead. Yeah. That movie poster is ridiculous. Yes, looks yes like it one, is. It looks like Skeletor from uh, from GI <laughs> Joe is on it. Oh my god! What is this? What what is this? <laughs> it's a Spanish film from 1971. Ah, it was also remade in 1985. Really? By director Jesus Franco. <laughs> Maybe Jesus. Oh, that might be it. <laughs> Yeah, that movie, uh, movie poster is epic. Yeah, I'm gonna see if this is on Netflix. It's the first film in the in the Blind Dead series. It's the first one. <laughs> there's there's four in the Blind Dead series. The second oh. one in the Blind Dead series is Return of the Blind Dead. So you see, what we didn't realize about films in Spain in 1971 is that that was really the launch year for 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 all sorts of series and and movies. It was 1971 that really started the film revolution in Spain. Yeah, yeah that. It was, that, that was <laughs> Tombs of the Blind Dead is what started it all. And 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 then I guess the fourth in the series was called Night of the Seagulls. <laughs> that sounds That's, terrifying. That sounds like a Jason Steele video. <laughs> yeah. Jason, Night of the Seagulls. Were, were you directed making that, by... Jason? No. Who's that directed? I'm looking at, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this looks like uh, looks it like received, a whole, whole it received positive reviews and online websites. Well, you, you got to think there's probably only four movies in each year. So. Yeah, so I guess I guess they they're <laughs> it doesn't they take much. <laughs> they don't they don't have they don't have the uh, the Bump plethora of, of of movies that, that that we have over here, the goods and the bads. I remember this is 1971, back when you had to work to make a movie. <laughs> None of this vlogging crap. Yeah, it's vlogging. Not to take anything away from vloggers. <laughs> that's that's probably a good segue into our uh, our first segment on the show. I don't even know what that is. It's the delightful and the repugnant. Uh oh. Oh. Yes. So every week we uh, explain to them what it, explain to to everybody what that is. <laughs> every week, and this is this is a a pretty uh, a fancy name for this segment. We each come up with one thing that we find delightful, and one thing that we find repugnant. That's that's about it. That's, that's easy. We do it. That's we the do segment. It every week. Yes. You think it would be easy? You think it would be easy? But I was up all night. He was. Yeah, I was up all night. He was he was uh, up all night. He was contacting professors at universities. Uh -huh. He was. Uh, I got it. I got this. He had a I got ham it all radio. Down. He had a ham radio. <laughs> was contacting anyone he could, but he got it. I got it. Let, let's go through. Let's go through the delightful first. All right. You go first, Jason. How about you go well, first, Chris? Well, well, here's here's the thing. Like my my delightful and repugnant is kind of like all tied into one thing. Ah. Yeah, so I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Well, no, that, that that can work. We can do it this way. So this is the first episode. They're, they they tell you in podcasting school at podcasting <laughs> university. I did not go there. They tell you that you should record uh, at least three episodes fully and not release them before you do a show so you can get the format down. Um, as we're doing a show called Chaos Pony, we decided not to do that. Oh, so this is getting released? This Yes, this is getting released. Oh, can, can we start over then? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Robert Binfer. I'm hey. Jason Steele. Welcome to Chaos Pony. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm Chris Alex. We're not selling this joke. <laughs> Today's topic is Spanish films of 1971. We're not. We're not selling this joke. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, delightful and the repugnant. We can do both of them together. So Christopher, what is your delight and repug? Well, <laughs> repug. You, you have a short name for it already. It's not going to catch on. Yeah. No. 
Well, well, Jason, you'll you'll appreciate this because you were with me when we uh, we both fell upon this uh, this discovery. Okay. Um, to to fill people in, I I uh, I'm not I don't use Apple products. Okay, I I don't have anything Apple except for for an iPad, but. I'm considering getting uh, a MacBook Air for for a laptop. So basically, that goes into Jason and I were were uh, we're at a store, and the thing that I find repugnant are huge laptops. Jason, do you remember? Do you remember the laptop that we saw? Yes, there was there was one that looked like it was from 1980. It was gigantic. I, I I find that repugnant because are we going are we going back in time or something? This is ridiculous. There was a laptop that had wood grain cover. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it there were there was one that the, the the fat one had these two air vents on the back that were probably bigger than on my desktop PC. Yeah, that were shooting out hot air. So it was, it I found fairly, that repugnant. So that's what you find. Up. That's what you. That's what makes you barf. So that's what make that's what makes me barf. And the thing that I found awesome was uh, I liked I liked the MacBook Air. I thought it was really nice. Well, it could be it could be my first step into the uh, the Apple realm. Um, I don't think I'll go 100 percent in there just mm-hmm. to uh, mm-hmm. maintain my foothold. But uh, but yes, yeah, that was repugnant to me, and and awesome. <laughs> it was both. Yeah, yeah. It was it was both. It was both. Everything was both. Ugh. So that's your delightful and repug. Well, my maybe it is catching on. Repug. repug. Yeah. We're I was wrong. Up. I was wrong. It is going to catch on. Repug. Yes. Okay, so should I go next? You go next. Okay, well, for delightful, I pick uh, Galician bagpipe player Christina Peto. <laughs> she, of course. She is the first female <laughs> Galician bagpipe player to record a solo album in Spain. I don't think she was recording back in 1971, though. She, she could have done some film soundtracks. Yeah, she is. Her her music is delightful. How, uh, how are bagpipes delightful? It it just is. She she rocks the bagpipe. Yeah, she is. She is also a pianist, and uh, I, I believe she teaches somewhere. Uh, she is. She is. She is great. Everyone should get all of her albums. I'm downloading it right now. There you go. <laughs> I'm doing it right now too. Well, there you go. And my repugnant is uh, thumbnails on YouTube. Thumbnails on YouTube? Why? I'm, I'm getting tired of them, Robert. Why? Is it, like, because you can't... Oh, wait, you can't choose your own. Wait, what's yes. wrong with them? I'm, I'm getting tired. Ty- Every single time you go to YouTube on the front page, it's the, uh, there, there's this series of, uh, vlogging YouTube partners who have, uh... Oh, yeah, they all look the same. They all look the same, they all look they stupid, have, like, they're all misleading, they're all just, just terrible. They have a color, colorful background, and then... And then somebody in a like a girl in a bikini. Yeah, the yellow background, yeah. the guy with a stupid face, and the girl in the bikini. It's it's just every every thumbnail from every vlogger. Is there like a school like you know how we went to podcasting school? Is there a school for, for YouTube <laughs> thumbnails? I I imagine there must be, or at least a template, because uh, everyone uses the same one. So that's what I find repugnant this week. And I Robert, re- let's let too. yes repug. <laughs> Robert, let's go to you. Uh, well, I figured I'd, uh, I didn't put a lot of thought into this. I figured I'd start, since it's the first episode, I'd start with my most favorite thing, and that is, uh, uh buffalo wings. Yes. That is my, that uh, is yes. my delightful. Is, they are so delightful. That is yes. all you eat. I go to a wing place called, uh, called Wingstop every, <laughs> every, like, every two days. It's, it's the best. So, so well, Jay, you had... Jason, Jason doesn't eat buffalo wings because he's a, veg, he's a vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian. He's a vegetarian. When Robert was down, we went to a restaurant, and Robert had a terrible stomach ache, and he still ordered buffalo wings. He couldn't eat them, <laughs> but he ordered them anyway. I looked at them. Yes. <laughs> I think I, I left them at your house, too. <laughs> yeah. Are they still there? I'll, I'll eat them. No, no. They're gone. Oh, uh, uh, did Josh Quay eat them? I don't know who ate them. <laughs> they're just gone. <laughs> they're just gone. Well, out of the two people that live in your house, one of them doesn't eat meat, so... Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't wasn't Jason. Uh, I had fake chicken when I was in Florida. Yeah, I took him to a garden cafe. You're a favorite restaurant. Yes. Is that is that your favorite restaurant, Jason? It's one of them. They have yeah. fake they have fake chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> they have fake bone and everything. They oh, have, yeah, the, uh, plas- the plastic bones or the wood bones or whatever they are. They have fake squid. They have fake and I, ribs. And I liked it. And we had the yin yang soup. Oh which yes, was, uh, which was uh, corn and spinach. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was good. Two soups. Too, wasn't too crazy about it. 
Well, you were you were lucky because um, I went there. It's it's good food. It's not bad, but uh, I happened to get coincidentally I got a stomach bug the, the day after I ate there, and uh, uh, it's kind of it's kind of turned me off to the for 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 now anyway. It wasn't from there. I I know I know. We all but ate I, the same thing from the same plates. That was the last thing I saw. It has scarred you. <laughs> it, it, it has. It has scarred Christopher. What is your repugnant? Maybe that's why I got that stomach pain. Maybe. <laughs> I like these really bad stomach pains today. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just poison. <laughs> yes. That's what it is. It's not real It's not it, real it, meat. It's just poison. It poisons non-vegetarians. It, it knows. It the place knows. Yeah, well, it's, the same lady. it's the same lady there every time we go in. They, she knows Jason by uh, by name, I guess. Yeah, well, she, she's the uh, the co-owner, I think. Her and it's her probably, husband. It, Maybe it was the lack of blood that gave me those. <laughs> that gave me those stomach pains. Yeah. So what, us, uh, what, us carnivores what, need that. What my uh, re my repugnant is uh, is the final episode of Lost. <laughs> That's my repugnant. <laughs> yes. You didn't you didn't like that? I spent two weeks watching every episode of Lost. Yeah. Because I, I wanted to get ready for the final episode. Uh, I didn't like it. That was pretty. It was pretty uh, disappointing, I think. It was. I don't know. I kind of. Well, here's the thing. It kind of left it to where you decided what. Which what is why you it was it. terrible because they spent the entire the whole show. I mean, I know you know. I did, here's the I, thing. Like, if you I didn't don't, like what the flash sideways thing were. I didn't like that. Yeah, I mean, they they wasted an entire se season on that crap because it was uh, it, it it that part only started in the last season, so it was uh, it was just a an extra thing just so they could end it some way and have it seem as if they were leading up to something but they weren't so well what i remember when the, when the first when the, when the show was first starting the writers said that they 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 know what the ending is already and basically they, they were lying the, uh, that's what i was thinking <laughs> they it were has, lying it had to be yeah. a lie yeah they were lying I think the island was originally going to be Purgatory. Purgatory. Yeah, and everyone guessed and it, that. Everybody guessed it. It was like crap. So they had to change it, but they they still wanted to put Purgatory they still somewhere. Did, and so they added it the last season. The they whole last this, season was in, this in, weird in Purgatory. Yeah. They added this weird like uh, limbo where people get shot and killed and blown up. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, I. I I'll go ahead and I'm, I'm going to change my repugnant to you to your. The, the final lost episode as well. Is that two out of three votes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for uh, reminding me that because I, I I, I, I get that. it. I get it. I just don't like it. Yeah. Well, let's go yeah. on to uh, to world news. So, what is your? Uh, <laughs> Your world yeah. news item, Robert. We'll go with you first. Uh, I picked something at random. It's the, uh... Yeah, so, uh... Gay rights groups are mad at Chick-fil-A for, uh, donating food to anti-gay marriage groups. Or to a uh, anti-gay marriage group. Do you have a link? I, uh... Yeah, let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> world news, chaos pony, the... Most trusted news source in podcasting. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to go first. Anyway, I have a link. Okay, add it. Add it to the, the Skype chat. <laughs> I had it open. See, this is why we, this is why podcasting <laughs> school tells you to do three we fell, shows. We, we fell asleep during this part. There you go. We've, we've, the, uh, I didn't go to podcasting school. I was... I was at home play, uh, playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Mm. Is that a good I was game? renovating Rome. <laughs> it was much more important. Yes. So here yeah. you go. I guess uh, I guess Chick Fil A is a. Uh... Well, do you think they do you think they did it because of who they were donating to, or just because they like I, don't I know really... companies make donations all the time. No, I'm well, I know it's a it's a Christian company. Yeah, right. the uh, the article uh, they they're they... specifically stating that their company is uh Yeah, they're not denying that they're anti-gay marriage. No. <laughs> Which is disgusting by the way. <laughs> Two men having sex. <laughs> Even though I do it all the time. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not even gay. I just like I just like to be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Chick Fil A. 
Yeah, you know, so. it, it, I, I only crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays. I love Chick-fil-A, but they never give me enough chicken nuggets, so I had to order. I had to get two orders of chicken nuggets all the time. So I got to spend more money. I've never gotten their chicken nuggets. I, I'm always like halfway full. I don't eat. Chicken. I don't eat a chicken fillet. Well, because you're a vegetarian scum, Jason. They serve. They serve fruit over there. You can have fruit. <laughs> yes. You don't. You don't crave I blood gotta, meat. I'm gonna go to Chick Fil A. And, and I will have the fruit, please. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, their spicy only... chicken sandwich. Apparently, they're not uh, serving fruit anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> because that's gay. That, that's 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 a, a, a word for gay people. <laughs> so we're not going to serve it anymore. That is weird that there's a, a company just this uh, blatantly anti-gay. Yeah. Do you That's, think it's going to? Do you think it's going to hurt their business? Uh, probably uh, not. I don't. I don't think anyone who eats at Chick Fil A is going to be uh, deciding where they eat based on political motives of the company. So what about the what about the In and Out Burger? That's a very Christian place. I don't know if they uh, <laughs> In and Out Burger. In and Out Burger. A place awesome. a place called In and Out. It's against gay marriage. I wish they had an In-N-Out in Florida. I'd drive to it wherever it was. Mm. You went to In-N-Out. You've Chris, yeah. Chris has been to an In-N-Out. I have never been to an In-N-Out. I you mean, know, I, and we, we haven't even gotten to Five Guys, Robert. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the Five Guys bit. <laughs> you, you, we want to do the Five Guys bit. <laughs> okay, let's do the Five Guys bit. This is our uh, this is our famous bit. This is the one that we do that that makes this this leaves everybody rolling around on the floor laughing. There it comes. This is a, the great Five Guys bit. Okay, uh, okay, here we go, Chris. I, I didn't realize that there was a there was a method to this. Ask me if I like Five Guys. Hey, Robert, do you like Five Guys? Uh, no, but I've had Five Guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's what we do. It's true every single time. The, the, the... <laughs> that's actually true. Yeah. We actually send random text messages too, talking about Five Guys. Yeah. Yep, yes. that's that's gonna, an actual thing. We're gonna be we're gonna be touring with this bit. <laughs> uh, anyway, you're here's a, a, you're a one man show. We're a one joke show. Yep. <laughs> here is here is my news article. Can we start over? No. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Cyclone Yazi brings despair for banana growers. Oh no. Yeah. Apparently, banana growers are uh, have lost a lot to. Uh, to a cyclone. Oh no! Yeah, someone lost uh, sixty thousand cartons of uninsured bananas. <laughs> <laughs> this guy did not buy the proper banana insurance. It's a million dollars worth of bananas he lost. Really? Which, which company? Which company would insure <laughs> bananas? There's got to like, be a banana insurance company out there. Because look at this. This this, this guy. I mean, there has to be. I mean, a million dollars worth of bananas. There's got to be an insurance company who will insure that. People just don't think about that kind of stuff. I guess. I guess when you're growing a million dollars worth of bananas, you don't think uh, I should. I should get this Maybe. insured. No, he wasn't thinking about it. That's the problem. Nope, he just wasn't thinking. Bad People news is, it don't... looks like it looks like the cost of bananas is going to double or triple. Yeah. Oh, did you? Banana costs are going up, and bananas are already having problems because there's that fungus that's eating them all. Oh. This is not, s- not a good year for bananas. Something nasty. There's actually there's actually a banana tree that's growing behind my backyard fence. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? And Back? Yes. Yes. I, I tried cutting it down, but it kept on growing because Free bananas. I heard, well, yeah, so so I figured I can I can supply the bananas, but but from what I understand, <laughs> roaches like to uh, like to live inside of the banana tree. Uh oh. Yeah. You gotta get oh. that sprayed. You yeah, spray that. Spray. No, just leave them in there. Eat eat the bananas with the roaches in them. Ah, maybe that's a delicacy. Yeah, this is a bad year for a uh, bad year for bananas, but a good year for Spanish films. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, unlike which, 1971. Yes, which was a bad year for Spain Spanish films. Yes, well, uh, Robert, do you, a, have, you have uh, you have a new story. What? Do you have a news story? Oh, wait, I, uh, you already we, did yours. We did ours. God! Christopher, you're the one left. I have a news story. Let me, uh, let me, send, you, let me send you the link, but uh, basically, my story is uh, about um, India captures 28 Somali pirates. 28? 28 Somali pirates. Good Lord, that's a lot of pirates. Well, my question was, was uh, why is... Um, why are the, why are people still pirates? I thought that was like old school. I didn't think there were still pirates around. No man, there's there's well, lots of pirates. They don't look like the pirates from the movies though. They're... No, well, do you think 
Do you think they, they watch like, the movies? Do you think they watch the pirate movies and be like, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to be a pirate. It would be a lot more fun. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, but uh, the thing that caught my eye was uh, it was a Greek uh, merchant vessel that was, uh, that was uh, taken over by the, by the pirate, that was in trouble by the pirates. And, uh, Uh-oh. yeah, I, oh. you know, you don't mess with my Greeks. So it's just they, the Indians who came and saved them, though. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you all pussies. That is, that, that's, that's an embarrassing news story, Chris. Why did you do this? Yeah, I shouldn't have brought that one up. The Greeks, the <laughs> Greeks get captured and saved by India. <laughs> I was just, I was just, uh, I was just baffled by the fact that uh, that pirates are still a cool thing. Like people grow up and say, "I want to be a, I want to be a Somali pirate." No, I, do you know what real pirates look like? What do they look like? Aren't they black? <laughs> they look like uh, homeless people on boats. You mean they don't look like Johnny Depp? No, not anymore. I know, no. No, I mean it's it's like it's it's starving people from Somalia. No, I mean, <laughs> those are pirates now. What is that? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I was uh, tearing a sticker off of my chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about your this... lip gloss that you have? I don't. <laughs> no, it's chapstick, man. Yeah, no, I saw that. It's lip gloss. It's it's chapstick, man. Come anyway, on. that was world news on Chaos Pony. Okay, so uh, we got we got a couple of individual segments on this show that we're going to test out for you tonight. Uh, the first of which is uh, Robert explains advanced math concepts. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm up. Yes. All right, so uh, all right, let me tell you a few things about polynomial equations. <laughs> some, <laughs> look, some sometimes in math, equations have square terms in them. That's a polynomial equation. So in order to solve it. You have to um, you have to set it uh, to to equal to zero, then factor. It's uh, it's got to be possible to write the expression without division. Zero is the constant term of a degree. Uh, here's an example of a polynomial equation. X four plus four squared plus seventy one x plus one hundred fifty four x plus twelve. Uh, that's one example. Here's another one. X2 plus 2X plus 5. That's another polynomial equation. One more polynomial equation. X7 plus 2X squared minus 5. 7. I s- look, isolate the variable. Simplify that shit. And uh, that's all I have to say about polynomial equations. That was That was great. I think this is going to be a winning segment. Yeah. This is the one. This is the one that's going to... Yeah, this is the segment that's going to bring people in. That's why we got to put it near the end, like we are now. <laughs> this is uh, exciting. This is I, didn't pay, the... I didn't pay attention to any of anything that you said, Robert. This... <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I kind of uh, zoned out. Let, uh, let my mouth do the work. <laughs> no. I'm not even going to make a joke about that. you gotta, you got to stop messing with your chapstick. Oh, am I still making noise? Yes. Was I doing that throughout the whole math thing? Yes. Oh, my bad. But it's fine, because you were talking about math. Yeah. Yes. Math is, uh... It's gone. I, I threw the paper. I threw the paper across the room. I'm not, it's out of my hands now. Are you going to Are you gonna apply the the, uh, the lip gloss to your, uh, to your lips, sir? It's not lip gloss. It's chapstick. <laughs> it's, uh, moisture plus. Does it have the, uh, little sparkles in it? No, it's does no sparkles. It's just chapstick, man. God, here we go again. I don't Thinking know, Robert. Old Robert. All right, so uh, let's go on to Chris's technology update. Can we start over? <laughs> technology update with Christopher Alex. Dun, 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 dun. Well, see, you know, how am I supposed to follow Robert's math uh, math equations? You can't. No, I can't. Except with, I want to talk about uh, Google Chrome Nine. Google Chrome Ooh. Nine. This sounds exciting already. It has instant search, 3D, and apps. 3D. 3D. The web in 3D. Yes, 3D graphics. Can you believe that? <laughs> I, I I can't remember a time in which someone advertised 3D graphics in a product since the 90s or something. 
What about the seventies? No, I mean this is three D, but like three D graphics. Like it has three D graphics. Well, you're talking. You're talking about the web now. This is uh, this is revolutionary. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm actually in the web. It's like those animated gifs <laughs> that spin around. <laughs> well, I was uh, I was trying Wait. it out, and uh, instant search is actually pretty cool. Mm. Like so you start, like, you, well, you start typing in like a website. Like if I start typing in like film cow, it like st- it brings up the web page before I even finish typing it. Nice. Yeah, starts pulling up web pages and stuff. Yeah. Wait, wait, doesn't my don't. I think all browsers do that. Yeah, I'm not, that, I'm not that, sure. <laughs> I think Firefox already does that too. Just fire, where it actually pulls up the entire web page? Oh, the the whole web. Oh, oh I really? see. I I yeah. get it. Yeah, like the whole web page. That seems really annoying. Yeah, you got to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> if you got to get used to it, then this, that's like you got to get used to a weird smell in your house, or you. You got to get used to those too. You got to get used to a to a metal plate in your head. <laughs> No, you gotta you get to. used. You gotta get used to a gay son. <laughs> do you know that from experience, Robert? This episode is sponsored by Chick Fil A, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What What do you guys think of uh, web apps? Web apps? Yeah, like this web is... apps, like apps for your phone, but on the web. Well, they. they I'm. I'm excited about them. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like they have a Facebook app, and you, and when you click on it, it basically brings you to the Facebook page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have that. <laughs> that's we're not app. talking about we're not talking about new technology anymore. No, that's old we're technology. T- we're, t- we're talking about two thousand and six. <laughs> so yeah, well, that's that's Google Chrome for you. Google okay. Chrome nine. There you go. Thank you for sharing that. with Three D. That's Chris's technology update. I think polynomial equations are more exciting, though. Chris's technology <laughs> update with Christopher Alex. Did it, did it. Is, is he going to have music? I don't know yet. Are we, am I? <laughs> <laughs> so the next segment is uh, the current state of the internet with uh, with me. And each week I'll give some some sort of news as to what's going on with the internet right now. What's going on in the internet? Well, I'm glad you asked, Robert. There's, there's so <laughs> much good. going on with the internet right now. I, I've noticed there's a, there's a new trend on 4chan, posting pictures of birds and then the words "call, call, 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 call" over and over again. As with all trends on 4chan, it'll be over by the time this podcast goes up. <laughs> uh, Pico Day is coming up on Newgrounds. Uh, you can win up to fifteen hundred dollars. They still have that. Yeah, Pico Day. They still have Pico Day? Yeah, it's Did for th- Pico, 2, Pico 2 ever come out? I have no idea. But yeah, so uh, Pico's a character from new from uh, of Tom Fulps from Newgrounds. And uh, if you He's do a, a good guy. If you do a Pico Day video or game and it gets uh, picked as number one, you can win a thousand buck a thousand five hundred bucks. So there That's you go. A lot of money. Yes. Or you can just get it or you can get a job, you freeloading bastard. <laughs> <laughs> on U- YouTube, um, YouTube is celebrating the uh, 100th birthday of Ronald Reagan. Uh, the Ronald Reagan <laughs> Foundation is uh, apparently uploading a bunch of uh, Reagan speech videos. So yeah, I saw, that. Like, I, saw the, I saw the comments for those. Those are wonderful. <laughs> yes, YouTube comments. It's it's amazing how uh, how fiercely <laughs> political people are about uh, about a president from the 80s. People will talk about politics even with your videos. Yep, it doesn't really matter. Upload a upload a picture of a baby cat sneezing and people will talk about Obama and uh, conspiracy, conspiracy theories. Yes. And the only other uh, internet news I have is that uh, Justin Bieber comments have still not stopped. Justin uh, Bieber comments? Yes, every 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 video has comments about Justin Bieber, so that's been are going positive on. Or are, they, are they good comments about it's, it's him? It's not positive or negative, it's just people mention Justin Bieber in every video. Everyone has the Bieber fever. That's been going on for like a year now, and it's uh, it's it can only a, go on for so long. It's, though. it's at an all time lame. So didn't didn't uh, YouTube create Justin Bieber? Yes, yeah, so he, he was a YouTube spawn. You, wasn't he? YouTube programmed him. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was created. He, he's, from a, he's a computer program. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense now. Yes. So that is the current state of the internet. Uh, we should move to the. Uh, we are, we are required every episode to give an update on the order of the ponies. So this is 
Oh, the, here we go. The weekly Order of the Pony update. So the uh, the High Grandmaster of the uh, Order of the Pony wishes to put out a public warning against traveling on the Volga River in Russia this week. It is the longest river in Russia. Uh, that's that's about all I know about the Volga River. It's it's very large. I don't know why the Grandmaster is warned against traveling on it. Perhaps there's some sort of uh, chaotic stay, event. I'll stay river. clear away from it. Yeah, river so has, river has a dirty sounding name. The, the Volga River, yes. <laughs> ha! So, ha. Ha. that was the Order of the Pony update. Thank you, Chaos Pony. I'll praise the pony. I'll praise the pony. Praise, I'll praise pony. pony. Praise Pony. Okay, so we got some emails. Already. Even though this is episode one, we still have emails already. <laughs> I don't understand. How do We're, people know the email address? I, I posted something on the forum. For, for anyone who wants to email us, there's a contact button on our webpage, chaospony.com. And there is also, uh, you can just email us at orderofthepony at gmail.com. Join our Facebook. Yeah, there's a Facebook page that Robert set up. I don't, is there anything <laughs> on it yet? No, there's nothing on it. So join the Facebook Wait, page. I'm going to make the first Facebook update right now. Wait, what should it be? It, what should I type? So the first email comes from... Uh, you didn't, you're just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to ignore you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the first update should be. It's... it's it's no one's all, no one's on the page yet, so it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll praise the pony. I'll praise the pony. Yes, that's what it will be. I'll praise the chaos pony. Okay, so the first email is from CJ. It says, "Is there any of your older movies that you would ever like to remake or reimagine?" Go ahead and answer that first, Robert. I just did that, actually. Henry Shotgun. Oh yes, that's true. You did just remake a video. Ah, uh, that was a good one. It was. You liked it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to make a... It's actually a two-parter. Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's an exciting two-parter. <laughs> Other than that, there's not a lot of things I'd like to remake. I'd like to remake some of my older songs. Uh, I don't know how, how that would improve them. Christopher, are there any of, uh, of our older movies you'd like to see remade or reimagined? Uh, well, we are going to do one this year, uh, Dad Cop 2. Yeah, we're doing the Dad Cop 2 feature film. There I like Dad Cop 2. And... Uh, what was the other one I kept on talking? I think it was just basically Dad Cop 2 or, uh, or Dr. Fabulous. Yeah. I have I actually have uh, reimaginings of pretty much all of our shorts. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a Richard you've Crumb movie. You've remade everything you've ever made. Yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I have a Richard Crumb movie in my head. I have a Attack of the Manhattan Drafts movie in my head. I have oh, you're, just, going, you're going back old school. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got, I got ideas for, for basically everything. Uh, Steven sends us an email. He says... Uh, Hey guys, very excited for the new show. I would like to hear your opinions on the flux of 3D effects used in movies ever since Avatar was a big hit. And in fact, we got we actually got this question from like three or four people, but Stephen was the first uh, the first message. They want to know our opinion on 3D in movies. 3D. What's well, your I can, opinion? My well, I can tell you my opinion is. Uh, I only like to see it every once in a while. I don't want to see like every movie come out in 3D. It doesn't give yeah. me headaches like it does for some people. I, I'm I'm fine sitting through it. I don't like the, uh, the 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 process cuts out most of the light from the projection, and so uh, you get like like 30 percent at the end of the process, like 30 percent of the light you do in a normal uh, a normal film, and so the the movies right. just look dark, and it's it's kind of super I did annoying. Not notice that. Yeah, it, I did it's not it's that. How how do you not notice it? It looks really 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 I dark. Not, I did not notice that. But uh yeah, that 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 really annoys me. It it's kind of hard to uh, to watch I, a couple movies. I don't like when they put 3D in the title. Yeah, that's kind of like <laughs> and, uh, Pir- that's not 3D. That's not going to age. Well, Piranha 3D the movie was ridiculous enough to begin with, so that worked. Yeah. But uh <laughs> did you see that movie? I never saw that. I never saw that either. Piranha 3D, that's a classic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spend all the money to go see that. Oh, man, what you got uh, to see that, that. What about that uh, new Nicolas Cage movie, Drive Fast 3D? Or something? <laughs> I don't like, know. Uh, I like 3D. I don't mind 3D as long as they don't sacrifice the quality of the actual film. They usually do. In order, yeah. 
But it, to be fair, it's mostly bad movies that get the 3D treatment, so... That's I true. Think, I think I would Saw like 3D. 3D. <laughs> oh, that's right. Look at that. that I like I like the uh, the 3D that used the uh, the blue and red glasses. Oh yes. Those are, those, <laughs> We're gonna I take every, one big giant was, step back. <laughs> I wish everything was like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jaws 3D. Nice. Uh, Nick asks us, uh, "What is your favorite marine mammal and why?" That narrows it down. Marine mammals. Yeah, so it's, we're restricted to to mammals. Yeah, what is your favorite ocean? marine mammal? So mammals that live in the ocean. Dolphins? I like the platypus. Platypus. Does a platypus live in yeah. the ocean or a river? I think you can consider it marine, probably. Hmm. I like sharks. Are... <laughs> 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 tell us tell, tell us how you really feel I like sharks <laughs> I like their shark teeth and they don't take no guff from anybody that's true I don't know I heard of people that you could you, people punch sharks and they go away what kind of what kind of animal goes away a big animal like that after you punch it no one likes getting punched Softs, uh, sharks are uh, hard on the outside and soft inside. <laughs> they, they, they get their feelings hurt. They only act that way because you know, really, they're they're just scared and nervous. Sharks don't sleep. They don't sleep. Jason, did they you get the, wic- the the they, shark Wikipedia page or something? No, they never. They I never just sleep. I just remember that they don't sleep. I don't I don't know where I heard that. That's why they're so cranky all the time. Yes. That's, why, that's why they look so cranky when they go around. Just, uh, you know, just take it, just stop. Stop at a shark hotel. Get some sleep, man. Yeah. And continue f- swimming around tomorrow. The problem with shark hotels is sharks check in, but they don't check out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why you got to fill out your uh, your shark license plate, so that way, you know, if you try to drive off without paying, <laughs> they can catch you, catch you, man. Okay. Is this, is this working? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we got a, we got a we got a question from Brendan. Uh, what are you? <laughs> uh, this is a hard hitting question. What are your thoughts on the current protests against President uh, uh, Mubarak in Egypt? What's going on in Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think I, I have a little bit of an anarchist heart, so uh, I I always uh, get a little tingly feeling when when there's revolution about. <laughs> As long as it's thousands of miles away. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm an armchair revolutionary. <laughs> you feel you feel good about it as long as you saw the comfort of your own home. Yes, yes. Well, I'm, I'm not I'm not keen on getting run over by horses. Yeah. But, no, try uh, camels. I saw a picture. There are people like going crazy on camels over there. Yeah, you, you know things are going crazy when you're getting run over by camels. That's <laughs> camels are nasty animals. Yeah. So we got a message from uh, Brianna. She says, uh, Dear Jason, Chris, and Knox, <laughs> what made you finally decide to start Chaos Pony? P.S. Knox sucks. <laughs> P.S. asks, uh, Knox doesn't actually suck. He's pretty cool. Love, Brianna. Oh. There you go. Now, Brianna was the one... Um, she was the one uh, hiding in our house, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> We started Chaos Pony because the uh, the order of the pony demanded that we did. So yeah, we, we already explained that. Yeah. Well, she she, well, she couldn't she have know known. That. She couldn't have known unless she's still in your yeah. house, Jason. I don't know. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, uh... No, they sent us. We were chosen by the Chaos Pony. We are the chosen ones. We are the chosen ones, and I'm. <laughs> they picked poorly. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> they. Ch- we got a message from uh, John. An email. It says, uh, "What are your favorite and least favorite movies, and why?" I don't have a favorite movie. You don't have a favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie. What's a movie that you like, then? I like Casino. Yeah, that's a good movie. Like, that's, a, that's a good movie. I like the movie. I like Casino. Christopher? I like, uh... I'm a huge fan of uh, Superbad. Superbad, yeah, that's a good movie. <laughs> I, like, I like Superbad. I was just showing you part of uh, Punch Drunk Love the other, the other day. Oh, yes, yes. I just that... watched that movie. <laughs> you did? What, what do you yeah. think, Robert? <laughs> 
Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> I love that movie. I love were, that were you, movie. Were you going in expecting like a Happy Gilmore remake or something? No, I wasn't. I knew what to expect. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> I I love that movie. That is that I, is a Jason movie. Yeah, that, I I could see that even after just watching the first fifteen minutes of it. Um, yeah, that is totally your movie. Yes, I'm I'm a fan of that movie. What's a movie that you don't like, Robert? Movie that I don't like. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not, I wasn't too crazy about Juno. Yeah, you've, you've, you've said this before. It with, wasn't bad. You, I mean, it was good. It just, it's... So the movie, with, it was a Michael Cera in it? It's yeah. overrated. I'm going to use that word. I didn't want to, but it's overrated. Mm. Does does Michael Cera, does he play the same character in each movie he's in? He, he plays, type of he plays in, similar. Uh, he, in Scott Pilgrim, he was uh, a little the, different. A bit the different, mini, yeah. The many faces of Michael Cera. Yeah. <laughs> All two of them. I, I, social, I like Michael socially, Cera. I, I like yeah, him. I don't no, know. I think he, I think he's a cool. I, I think he's funny. I think he's funny. I kind of like that. Uh, the, uh, the the shy, timid. Uh, in fact, I was watching Arrested Development this morning. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Another. It's, uh, it's a good show. I like the. Show. I like the um, the Social Network. I haven't even seen that yet. Well, yeah, he was great in that. <laughs> <laughs> You know which movie I hated, and it was the only movie I ever walked out. I, I usually, if I pay a lot of money, like I'm not going to walk out of a theater. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, it had uh, it was the one George Clooney, Serena or Se- Serena. Uh, it was the one about uh, it was over in the Middle East, uh, the oil. I don't even remember the plot. I fell asleep in that movie. It, was, it pissed me off. Mm, I I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, well, yeah, don't waste your money. A uh, movie I really time. hate is uh, 88 Minutes. Is there one Nicholas Cage in it? No, it's Al Pacino. <laughs> Oh, Al Pacino. Oh, 8 oh. millimeters. is what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, I know what movie you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Random shots of a seaplane edited into the, uh, <laughs> the film. It's like it's it's in a courtroom scene, and then it switches to a shot of a seaplane landing, and then it goes back to the court scene, and then back to a shot of a seaplane landing, and then back to the courtroom, and then back to a shot of the seaplane landing, and then it goes on, and it, the seaplane's never explained. There's no purpose to the seaplane. It just they decided to throw in three random shots of a seaplane. This sounds exciting. Sounds like yeah. uh, sounds like uh, a Plan Nine from Outer Space type of movie. <laughs> it's a it's ahead of its time. It is, it is my least favorite film. <laughs> a little time. Okay, so we got a uh, a question from Matthew. Hi, my name is Matthew Jackson. Uh, I guess he's on both of our forums. Uh, he says, I'm emailing you guys to get your views on the controversial subject of uh, marijuana. Uh, it's it's illegal in almost every part of the world. Most people do it regardless. Others use it legal uh, use its legality as an excuse to put potheads in criminal groups. My questions are, uh, if it was decriminalized and sold in your local convenience stores as cigarettes are, would you smoke it? And what is your opinion on the legality of a substance such as marijuana and why? Does uh, marijuana have heroin in it? (laughs) (laughs) Does marijuana have ecstasy in it? Roofies? I don't think so. No, I I don't even drink, so I don't think I... I've never even smoked a cigarette. (laughs) I, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't smoke it. I enjoy a cigar and... And I and I. I'll you seem beer. you seem like a cigar guy. <laughs> you, yeah. Chris, Chris seems exactly like a cigar guy. Yeah, <laughs> I like I like a good cigar every once in a while. <laughs> Everyone who likes a good cigar every once in a while says it like that too. I like a good cigar every <laughs> once in a while. It's that, it's that one line that everyone says. Yeah, because it uh, it's actually good. Like I'll sit on my back porch and usually in the evening time or at night, yeah. the weather's nice and cool, and uh, <laughs> puff on a cigar. And it's uh, I mean, for some reason, every single time, like I could have the the crappiest day in the world, but I could sit out there and I'll be like, man. Life's pretty good. No, and I say the same thing every single time. <laughs> no, I've never. Uh, I I would not uh, smoke marijuana if it was legal, just because I I've never. I don't know. It's it's. I have I have this weird thing where my my mind uh, my mind doesn't function normally to begin with. Yeah, my neither. <laughs> when when people are uh, are high, I feel like that every day. On my I'm own, high so. on life. I'm not high in life. It's just I, I, my, my mind wanders off into weird places to begin with. So yeah, mine too. And then I make uh, movies about it. Yeah. Well, see, I have, the, I have, the, I have, the, I have Me. a problem where I don't like it when I'm out of control. I, I always got to be in, like, I have a control freak, so yeah. I always have yeah. to be in control. And you know, I, I don't yeah. know. I, I, I feel the same way. Yeah. But you know, I, you know, I, I, I understand why people, people do it, and I, I don't have any yeah. problem with people who do it. 
No, no. It's, I mean, uh, it's 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 their it's their own business. Carl Sagan. <laughs> Carl Sagan smoked pot, so it's it's fine with me. <laughs> the show, uh, the show got really serious all of a sudden. <laughs> Talking about real topics, chaos yeah. pony, drugs, and other topics of concern. <laughs> yes. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, we got one last email here. Well, we we got a lot more emails, but they were terrible emails. <laughs> I'm surprised how good these questions are. Yeah, these are actually pretty good questions. I got well. We got we got we got. There's there's actually a couple more uh, uh, good emails, but I we're running out of time, so we'll just do one more. Uh, w- uh, this is uh, basically a continuation of a previous question. What stance do you believe America should take in negotiations with the people of Egypt? Ah, uh, back to Egypt. Yes, that's 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 important right now. What stance mm. do you think America should take? Nuke them. <laughs> <laughs> just kill no. all of them. Well, you are from Texas. That's the uh... <laughs> <laughs> from Texas. <laughs> I don't know. You no. think we should stay out of it, Jason? Of uh, you well, we should, you think we should mind our own business? Well, here's, we we've trained uh, a lot of uh, of the Egyptian army in America. Like they actually went to American military schools. So yeah. Uh, so we we have we have some sort of uh, already some sort of influence in this situation. But you know. Isn't there some sort of, uh, like, isn't there, like, an oil stake? Or, like, we are we concerned about uh, oil? I don't isn't know. What, I don't, about oil? I don't, I don't know what the American interests are. I don't really, uh... <laughs> Are we going over there for oil now? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the oil. It's all about the oil. When are we, we going to leave oil? I, I just don't know enough about this topic to make any sort of informed... Uh, I barely know anything about the topic, either. <laughs> I all just I remember... know about... Look, there are two things that I care about. Spanish films of 1971 <laughs> and polynomial uh, equations. That's 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 what Robert's all about. And buffalo yes. wings. Yes. I'm I'm about uh, 3D graphics on the internet. And the party. The party. That's another thing I care about. And the party. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, thank you all for listening. This has been. <laughs> <laughs> episode one of chaos pony i'm actually yeah. excited i'm excited about this show i think this that is was gonna a, be that was actually nice I, yeah this i th- i think uh you know we're, we're probably going to shuffle the categories around a little better if, to figure out our pacing if anyone has any ideas for uh for segments for us to do uh, send us an email at order the pony at gmail.com uh, we'd love to hear it we'd love to hear your your insight into this show, what you like to see more of, what you like to see less of. If there was a part of the show you didn't like, send us an email. If there was a part of the show you did like, send us an email. We're going to evolve over the next couple episodes, but I'm enjoying it so far. I think I think this I'm might happy. this might I'm work. Happy. It might. We might not get sacrificed by the pony. Ah, uh, God, I hope not. I really don't need that right now. Are we gonna Are we gonna record this episode again? <laughs> yes, we're gonna record this episode <laughs> over yeah, let's and start over. Again. over. We're going to make five different uh, takes of this episode, and then we're going to choose the best one. Yes. Yeah, so we got it four owes, more. We got, we got five hours of work to do, fellas. No no, uh, no partying tonight. No partying tonight. Yeah. No wings for you, Robert. No wings for me. Wait, what? No, bullshit. What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order me some chicken wings. I'm going to go get some five guys. Hey, you know, I, I, can, I can use a few guys right now myself. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, Jason. That's what we do. That's, that, what that's we our do. thing. That that's is, our thing, Jason. That is the essence of us. <laughs> that, that is that is all we talk about. Yes. And uh, thank you for listening. This has been Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. Well, I, why am I saying this? Because I'm going to have that in the outro, so I shouldn't say that. Yeah, well, people yeah. are going to people are going to hear that twice. Where where can uh, where can people uh, go to get information again about? Uh, don't uh, you guys have Twitters? Don't you guys tweet? We're going to have yeah. links on this site. We have links. Chaospony.com. Oh, yeah. That's H-T-T-P. <laughs> How do you spell chaos? Colon backslash <laughs> backslash www.chaospony.com backslash. Yes. Do you have to put in the HTTPs? Yes. It won't work. Okay. <laughs> NASA guy. Not for long. We got to end the show. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. See you. See you next week. Bye. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderofthepony at gmail.com.